incredible day as always welcome back to my channel I hope you guys are doing well in today's video we are doing my annual what I got for Christmas video I cannot quite believe we are already diving into this video for 2023 I feel like I filmed this not long ago and it was a whole year ago, absolutely insane. But I have so many lovely, incredible gifts to share with you this year. As always, my family goes incredibly over the top with Christmas, but we always have. I'm sure we always will. We just go completely over the top. And for months before Christmas, I save up a lot of money just to spoil my friends, my family. So this is just who we are. I'm not bragging, I'm not showing off, but I have a lot of incredible presents here. This isn't everything I received. I have just grabbed a nice selection to share with you guys. So without further ado, we are are gonna dive right in. I hope you guys enjoy and carry on watching. If you guys watched my what I got for Christmas last year you would know that me, Ryan, Stefan and Kaylee do a pop secret Santa every year so we did the same again this year. This year I got the Dustin Stranger Things one which if you guys didn't know last year I had the Eddie Munson one so this one is going to match with him perfectly and I absolutely love it. Stefan actually had me again so yeah I'm absolutely obsessed. I love him and he's going to look great next to my Eddie Munson one so that is the first thing we opened on Christmas Eve and I just absolutely love him so thank you very much Stefan love that sticking with the pop figure theme I actually saw these months ago and I said to my mum I was like do you want to get me these for Christmas because I don't need these but I saw them and I thought I absolutely must have these and that is the Blink 182 set of three so obviously you've got all the people here you've got Mark Travis and Tom and I absolutely love these I just think they're so fun these ones were 30 pounds I know because I bought them myself but I really really love these and they will be staying in the box so that is another pop gift I received. A few things which Stefan and Kaylee bought me. The first thing is actually the most practical gift I've ever received and I know I'm going to use this so much and that is a USB cup warmer which I know they bought me as like a joke present but I'm going to use and abuse this. If you guys don't know me you won't know that I either have to have my coffee really hot or iced. I hate it when you have a hot coffee and it goes like tepid. I absolutely hate it so this is going to become very very useful I'm going to put it on my desk at work and hopefully it works I'm really excited to give it a try I just really hate tepid coffee it's like my biggest thing I just hate it so I cannot wait to give this a try another thing they picked up for me were these Disney 100 socks I absolutely love them so you've got Mickey on one side and you've got Pluto on the other absolutely adore these I need some new socks so I'm really glad that they picked these up for me and I just love a good like longer sock and van socks are really really good they last for years I've had some socks from vans for ages and they're just really good so I highly recommend these also from the vans Disney 100 range they picked up this backpack when I popped in there with them I saw this and I was just like oh my god that is so cute I love it and if you guys don't follow me on Instagram you wouldn't know that me and Holly are finally heading back to Disneyland Paris in February vlogs will be coming a haul will be coming don't you guys worry but I saw this and I instantly just thought I need that for Disneyland Paris because if that is not the most perfect size Disney bag I don't know what is because all I really need is my camera my tripod my tickets etc so I'm very very thankful for this I really love it it's got some really lovely stripy straps on it and yeah it's just a really cute backpack I absolutely love it another gift they got me was this mug as you guys know I love coffee but this one says I drink as much coffee as the Gilmore Girls if you didn't know I'm obsessed with the Gilmore Girls I'm obsessed with coffee this is perfect I absolutely love this one I think it's from typo um it seems like a typo type of mug so if you guys want this one definitely have a look in there but I just love it I love the colour, I love the size, I don't know how much you can love about a mug but it's perfect for me. Even though I am turning 30 in less than a month which makes me feel physically sick, I can't even comprehend. Anyway, even though I'm turning 30 very soon, I still am slightly obsessed with jelly cats. I don't know where this obsession has come from. I think it stemmed from me getting the sausage dog one. Was that the first jelly cat I bought? I can't remember. But it all stemmed from getting one and it's kind of spiralled a little bit. I don't tend to buy any for myself throughout the year because I just know that I might get one or two for Christmas and I don't want to go overboard with them. However, I did receive three this year for Christmas. So the first one was from Stefan and Kaylee and it is the little pano chocolate 
Pano chocolate, pano chocolat, if you want to go a bit more accurate with it. But this is absolutely adorable. Funnily enough, I bought Ryan the croissant one for Christmas. It was in his stocking. So I'm obsessed with him. He is so cute. And I love a good pano chocolat. So I just love him. And he is going to go next to Ryan's under our TV. I just think he's so cute. What is the use of these? I have no idea, but absolutely adorable. Then one which my mum and dad picked up for me was the candy cane. He is so cute. I know he is very Christmas specific, but I will definitely keep him out all year because he's just absolutely adorable. And the last jelly cat was from Ryan and I kind of picked this out myself. I saw it in a bookshop and we also bought Kaylee one, which was a different one. And I saw this one and I was just like, oh my God, he's so cute. So Ryan actually picked him up for me and he is the smudge elephant and he is so cute like look at him like how cute is that <laughs> like what is the need i don't know but how adorable is he so sweet so soft absolutely love him so that was the last jelly cat i received next up moving on to something which ryan picked up for me he got me the lush relax gift set i really like receiving the lush gift sets because when i worked there no one really bought lush for me because obviously i would get my discount so i rarely get a lush gift set anymore um and this one comes with sleepy shower gel twilight bath bomb a sleepy bubble bar and dream cream body lotion absolutely stunning the packaging is just beautiful um, um, I would be it'd be a shame to get rid of it, but I absolutely love it. So thank you very much, Ryan. A couple of clothing bits my parents got for me. The first thing was a pair of jeans. My mum and dad always buy me a pair of jeans for Christmas or my birthday because I just go through jeans. I always wear jeans. It is very rare for me to not wear them. I'm either wearing jeans or like tracksuit bottomy, like soft bottoms I don't really wear anything else so I tend to always get a pair of jeans these are the Haley jeans from new look they are high waist super skinny and stretchy I just haven't had a pair of skinny jeans in so long I really just fancied a pair and I love wearing skinny jeans with like Doc Martens I think they look the best with them so they have a couple rips in they are sort of slightly distressed and they are a really nice dark grey so these are the jeans I got this year they also picked me up this really nice jumper from New Look I can't remember how much this was I know my mum picked it up when she was with me but I really love this jumper it's just a stripy kind of cream and grey jumper it is that sort of soft I don't want to say hairy material because that's not accurate but do you know what I mean it's like a soft material it's got sort of a higher neck I just think it's lovely it's very loose and it just would look really nice with the jeans I thought so I got this one as well so I actually received two handbags this year I rarely buy new handbags I have quite a few really lovely handbags so I don't necessarily buy any more um, but this one was from New Look and it's really lovely it's almost this like water resistant style kind of bag it's really lovely it's got loads of pockets and apart I was gonna say apartments compartments um I just thought it'd be really good for like shopping days and days out where you kind of have compartments for everything so I absolutely love that and that was from New Look I'm not sure if I said that or not and the other bag they picked up for me I actually picked up myself I saw it and just instantly fell in love with it this is from Paul Costello I think you pronounce it and we got this from an outlet store it was really really affordable they had such a good discount on and it is this really lovely suede black bag it looks absolutely massive on camera but it kind of slouches but also you can fill it out and have loads in here so I really like this I thought it'd be really good for sort of shopping days and things like that um but yeah I love that it just looks so beautiful and I just love a slouchy kind of handbag I absolutely love it so thank you mum and dad obsessed with that one if you guys have been watching my videos for a while you will know that for Christmas and my birthday my mum and dad always will pick me up a pair of Doc Martens now this year it was very much a surprise because I hadn't asked for any in particular normally they'll ask me which ones do I like and I normally have a five foot long list of all the Doc Martens that I want but ever since I've been getting into reading I haven't really been sort of looking on the website however they went into the Doc Martens store and they saw these and just instantly thought that I would really love them so these ones are called the 8053 4i quad arc in dark brown I really love these again I would never pick a dark brown shoe it's not something I would normally go for I would instantly pick black over dark brown so this is what they look like I am absolutely in love with these they are this really lovely like dark brown suede with yellow laces they just look really classic I really love them 
them. I love the Chunky Soul. If you guys know me, you'll know I absolutely love a Chunky Soul. I'm all for it. Being five foot, I need the extra height. So yeah, I'm obsessed with these. I love them so much. Those are the Doc Martens I got this year and I'm absolutely obsessed with them. So thank you very much, Mum and Dad, for those. So a couple things which Ryan's mum got for me. She also got me a bookish thing, which will be in a separate video. We went into Oliver Bonus when we went shopping the other day and I absolutely loved both of these items and she sneakily went in and got them for me. So the first one is these. These are salt and pepper shakers. How adorable are these? I have honestly like never seen anything like it. They're little mushrooms. They don't match my kitchen at all, but they are so cute that I just honestly... I fell in love with them and I'm so thankful she bought them because I think if she didn't I would have had to have gone back and bought them myself how sweet are these look at them they are so cute I absolutely love them I really want to get a shelf in the kitchen and I can sort of put these on them but I absolutely love them they are so cute and Oliver Bonus do really beautiful kind of homeware kitcheny bits at the moment I absolutely love it so if you guys have one near you definitely recommend because these are just so cute and another thing from Oliver Bonus she picked out for me again was something that I saw in there with her and I just fell in love with it and it's this really beautiful plant pot honestly I cannot get over how stunning this is so this is a kind of white design with turquoise and gold sort of flakes across it I just absolutely loved it and it's something again which I will keep forever it's so beautiful and obviously each one is hand done so it's all they're all very different I just absolutely fell in love with this so that was another gift from her and I am just so incredibly thankful and grateful so I can't wait to get a new plant to put in my plant pot so I'll keep you guys updated with that one. Hayley and Stefan also picked up two fragrance oils for me the first one is peony and the second one is Seychelles both from the white company these go in my diffuser they bought me last year cannot wait to try these ones they smell absolutely Absolutely incredible this one smells like a very expensive woman's like bathroom love that one very fresh and this one this one's more of a kind of like fruity it smells like something from lush if i'm being honest it smells absolutely delish so i cannot wait to try these they also picked me up a candle this is a vanilla latte it smells delish so i'm very excited to burn this one mum and dad also picked me up a small hot water bottle and some fluffy socks obviously this is something that everybody needs in the winter time so i cannot wait to use these i also got some fluffy socks from ryan i have some green ones and some beige ones i think people think i need more socks so i'm thoroughly excited to give those a try the next thing ryan got me was one of these now if this isn't just the cutest thing you ever did see i don't know what is so this is one of those things that you put in the microwave and it just goes all cozy and warm and and it's a little hamster and I cannot get over how cute his little face is like can we just take a moment we also got Kaylee one for Christmas which was a little Highland cow and was so cute so I cannot wait to put him in the microwave he's just adorable a couple of kind of keeping warm headgear pieces that mum and dad got me they got me this which is one of those really lovely like woolen headband thingies and also this really fun Vans hat I absolutely love the look of this I love all the colors and that it looks hand knitting I just love that hand knitting hand knit is that the right word? Anyway, it looks really cute, so I got that one. A quick fire round of a few other bits that mum and dad got me. So I have the Intergalactic Bubble Bar from Lush, a Bondi Sands lip balm. They also got me a MAC lipstick in Magic Charmer and a Spot Remover Cream from Origins. This stuff is incredible, by the way. If you've not tried it, I would definitely try it. From the body shop, they picked me up a Vitamin E Serum and a Vitamin E Eye Cream. They also picked me up a High Smile Toothpaste and a candle, which I'm just going to hold up and you guys can see what it says. And I feel like it is very self-explanatory so there you go lovely candle actually to be fair it does smell delicious so I really like that they also picked me up this which is another one of those things that you put in the microwave that go nice and warm so I love that a couple of stockingy bits that Ryan picked up for me he got me the snow fairy lip mask and a really beautiful amethyst crystal bracelet I absolutely love this so thank you very much Ryan I love those a couple of perfumes I received from my parents this year the first one is the wildly me by Florence by Mills this smells incredible it's so fresh and it's just a really lovely kind of just a fresh smell it's not overpowering so I love this one and they also picked me up this one this is by is it Lacura? it's from I think Aldi or Lidl it's like part of their dupes range and it smells like black opium delicious so good a couple of rings from the crystal shop that my mum and dad bought for me this is what they look like I would be lying if I said I could remember what 
um, crystals they were, but they're absolutely beautiful. As always, my mum and dad also picked me up a Pandora charm. This one is adorable. It's a tiny little penguin with a scarf on it. I would hold it up to the camera, but my camera refuses to focus on it. So you can just picture it. It is very cute and adorable. The next thing mum and dad picked up for me is something which my dad actually didn't know about because I had bought him the CD version for Christmas. So I asked mum if I could have this for Christmas, but if she could just like not tell dad about it. And we managed to keep it hidden for a while. So this is, let me just pull it out. So this is the Green Day Dookie 30th anniversary box set of vinyls. I am so excited to have these and be able to actually like use them and get them out because obviously I had to keep this a secret from dad for months. So I picked this one up. I got this off of their website and it was sent a while ago. So it's been under my bed for months. So the next gift was an absolute shock. So just a little bit of a backstory. I have had the same hair straighteners since I was probably in year eight at school. How old are you in year eight? 12? I am now 30. Like next in the next few weeks I'm 30 so they have lasted a very long time and I was really really eyeing up some new hair straighteners and I've been umming and ahhing about it for a while because hair straighteners are not cheap and I wanted a really nice pair that would last me. To my shock they bought me some for Christmas and they didn't just buy me some hair straighteners, they bought me some Dyson hair straighteners. I'm still shocked about it. I cannot wait to give these a try because honestly, they look incredible. I have never actually seen these in person, but they are cordless as well. So you can sort of use them with so much more ease. I cannot wait to give these a try. So thank you so much, mum and dad. I am so grateful and I just absolutely love these. I cannot wait to try them. Now moving on to Ryan's main present. So I had not asked for this. I had not told him I wanted this yet somehow he absolutely smashed it this year and got me the most incredible present, which is the Shark Air Wrap. Now, if you guys don't know, obviously there's the Dyson Air Wrap, which is like 500 pounds. Shark came out with their own version and a lot of my friends had been saying they want to get it. And I was like, yeah, it looks lovely. Like it's definitely something I would want, but I just couldn't justify buying it for myself. It's just absolutely incredible. I used it today. It might not look the best because it was my first go using it, but I absolutely love this. I am so excited excited to keep using it and kind of get better at using it so it comes with like a little um obviously the attachment thingy you get two brushes two curlers you get a blow dryer it is so fun and I'm just I love it so thank you so much Ryan I absolutely love my main present and I'm just obsessed so yeah absolutely spoiled but I just am so thankful so that is what I got from Ryan this year and last but definitely not least is something which I was not expecting at all my mum and dad always like to get me and Ryan some Something as like a joint present so whether that be something for the flat or something that we could do things like that like they like to get us something together and the first thing we opened was these which I was like okay thank you for um some coffee like you guys know we love coffee so like that's great thank you very much um but I couldn't quite understand where this was kind of going if you know what I mean and then a little did I expect I can't even quite comprehend that this is in front of me. If you guys don't know, I have wanted to buy myself a house since I was 16. And ever since I knew this existed, I have had this on my wish list for years. Like every single place I've lived, I have wanted one of these and I just couldn't buy it myself. Hang on, I need to lift it up because it's really heavy. Give me one second. Can you guys see it? Okay, hang on there. Do you see it? So they picked us up the Smeg coffee machine in cream. Insane. I am so excited to set this up later. I have kept it in the box for this video. I don't really know why, because I could have just showed you the box, but I've kept it in the box and tonight is gonna be the night and I cannot wait to try it. I'm gonna make the nicest latte ever and I'm gonna use my new coffee, which is, I'm just so excited. I am so excited and so grateful. So thank you so much, mum and dad, for this. It was very unexpected, very too much. And I just, I love it. I'm so excited just to have it in my possession after years of wanting it. So I feel like it's going to be an obsession now. I'm going to want to buy new Smeg everything. So that is a dangerous game. So that is everything that I got for Christmas for 2023. I honestly am so grateful, so thankful. Again, this isn't to brag, it isn't to show off, but I get comments all year round saying I'm so excited for what I got for Christmas because your parents always go over the top, which they do, and you guys like to see it. So please don't take this as me bragging or showing off. I hope you guys had the most incredible Christmas and amazing new year. I honestly cannot quite believe we are going into 2024. So 
so I'm so excited for the new year. If you guys are watching this video and are slightly confused where all my book things are, I'm going to be doing a separate video on all the books I got for Christmas because otherwise this video would be so incredibly long that I just... I didn't want to have to edit all that so I'm gonna do it as a separate video so I hope you guys don't mind it will be the next video that comes out and I am also going to be uploading twice a week again in 2024 so there is a motorbike outside hello on that note I'm gonna go thank you guys so so much for watching if you haven't subscribed please make sure you do I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one bye guys